Hi friends, so you're back with Deanna Williston and her reluctant husband. And what are you reluctant about today, husband? I'm not sure again what I'm in for with these <laughs> almond bowls. <laughs> almond bowl one. You can also call it almond bowl 2020. Again, no judgment on that. So we're here today for the first game in League Maccabee. And the excitement is just, I mean, it's palpable in here. <sighs> It's palpable. So we, just to do a quick rehab, we did the first game of the Easter League, right? Yes. And have you determined what makes the Easter League an Easter League? I went with, again, sweet. Sweet. Now, its motto was sugar-coated. So it's coated. Yeah, they're coated. They're not necessarily candy-coated, but they are all coated with something. Okay. So the That would explain why I was expecting to have spices on my hand versus a coating. Right, and the Maccabean League's motto is stay salty. Okay, so it's coated with salt or other spices. Or other spices. Seasonings. See, you're on it now. The hammer is just because Maccabees. Um, the hammer is just to beat that into my head? No, because Maccabees. I, I got that now. Just making a joke. I mean, Sorry. It, it like means hammer. I was trying to make a joke. Apparently, it was a bad one. <laughs> I'll be quiet now. I was it's your channel. on the awesomeness of finding a hammer patch, which may look familiar to you, but mine actually has gold sparkles, and the other person who uses it doesn't have gold sparkles. So that's the, that's the difference there. That would not be manly of him. Sure, it's gold. Men like gold. Okay, so we're not fighting over whether or not men like gold. We settled the first game of the Easter League. Oh, I can probably tell you who's out then. Sure. I can tell you who is out. Um, I, hold, oh, Do no, I need I to look away? Jars. No, no, no. We're I'm well out. organized. It is, it is well organized. There's, there's little jars with numbers on them and bags wrapped around them so you can't see them. It was the milk chocolate one is the one he didn't like. It's yogurt. You nerd. It's yogurt. <laughs> there's no chocolate at all. <laughs> you don't have to eat it. I'm just like, oh, he's already eating it. It's yogurt. And you this, have me so I think I'm supposed to eat it. This is the one that we have a, a lot extra of. And it's, it's his least favorite so far. I didn't, say it was, I didn't say it was bad. No. I, th I said it was more every day. I thought the, the nut inside was very soft compared to some of the others I tried. The first one was. The second one was not. Oh, good to know. But again, I'll be running them through a blender so that won't matter to me. Okay. If I eat them, I'll make nut butter. I can't eat mm. a whole nut. He totally forgot that for a whole second there. Anyway, I've we got... We are nuts, but that's okay. Yes, we are. So it's a, a fitting competition. Okay. So, yeah. Yogurt is out. I don't want you to see that. That one's not done as well as it should be. You didn't see anything, did you? No. Shoo! My glasses are off. Shoo! Okay. Um... Yeah, so I'm going to have to put your blindfold on you so I can show them what, what this game is. Figured that was coming. I mean, uh, it's only taking like seven <laughs> taste tests for me to figure out you're going to blindfold me. <laughs> she thinks I'm also the dumb husband. But you know. We're increasing our lines of communication. Yeah, with my eye rolls. We had, a, we had a little issue earlier when I said I needed a few minutes and he thought I meant like an hour. I meant a few minutes. So it took us a while to get filming these, but we're back on track. There's a men versus women joke there, but I, I think that was it. I think that was it. Um, I did say I had might have said I had a lot of things to do, but they were all the same things. It was take the laundry out of the washer and put it in the dryer and put new clothes in. But he he just heard there's a long list of things to do, so he thought it was a long time. Okay, so we are on game number two. two. Yeah, I have them labeled. Oh. I can count. Here's the official Without looking chart. At my if, fingers. if you haven't quite played along yet, here's the Maccabean League. Um, this was the Easter League. We already did this one game. You can see the winner here. No, I can't. No, and we're over here now. The the game numbers are the ones inside the circles. Um, the other ones are my fake seeding. I I totally seeded this game, um, but totally random picks because otherwise he'd kind of figured out way too quickly. So sure, I mean, give me way more credit than I deserve. You, you're in, I don't know. I can't say anything. Anyway, <laughs> I can't say anything because I don't want to give anything away. So She's speechless. Here is the first game. Oh, and I wrote Maccabee in League. It should be League Maccabee. I don't know why I messed that up. Anyway, there is our first game here. 
and so we're going to go ahead and get started with that. Um, this is the... I know how the dog feels. <laughs> Try <laughs> table scraps, please. Oh, <laughs> what does that even mean? The dog is pathetically sitting over by the door, hoping someone will let him out or fill the bird feeders. I've not filled the bird feeders in two days because um, deer have been coming in the yard and raiding them. So he's mopey that his bird friends aren't out there because I'm not feeding it. I think you can get this one before I even put it in your hand, but we'll see if you like it or not. No? Is that please, ma'am, may I have another one? Yeah, please may I have another one because I'm really not oh. able to discern it too well. I mean, I can hear your fillings breaking. It's definitely, I, I'm not the one eating them, but I feel like it's crunchier than those ones that we've had in the Easter League so far. Yes, but I... You got nothing? Huh. It's a mild flavor. It's not... It's not a heat. It's not a strong spice. Um, it can be a strong spice, so that's why I'm surprised. But, I again, I haven't eaten these. I have to blend them into butters. One more. One more, okay. And, and I can see the amount of coating on these. It's... I can't even smell it. There is a decent amount of coating on there, so I don't, I don't know why you're not getting it. Oh no, touch that one. Not getting it? You no, know, it's definitely something, but it's not, a, it's not a straight almond, but. Man, it almost tastes like a peanut at this point. Um. <laughs> I see why you're saying that. Sorry, folks. I was watching the squirrel outside destroying. It's my okay. Baby it's bird. almost like a peanut M and M for crying out loud. Um. Okay. Uh, again, it's a mild flavor. It's kind of smooth. It's again not spicy, not sharp on the tongue. It's kind of a smooth flavor. Okay. Is it more sweet, more savory? It's actually more sweet. This is why I think it caught me off guard. Okay. Um, I mean, if it's a, it, I can't imagine it's cinnamon or anything. It'd be extremely mild if it was a cinnamon or anything like that. Well, why are you guessing cinnamon? This comment you made. Um, what did I say? That you're surprised that I'm not getting it. And oh, I am. But no, I'm just, I. I can't discern exactly what it is. Here's the next one, folks. Okay. Oh, can I have some water, please? Uh, yep, giving oh, no, you the I'm water. A, I'm a pain. Yes. I'm just showing them Thank what's you. next. Thank you. Okay. These, these aren't really flavors I associate with almonds either. I mean, either of these. <laughs> See, I'm opening the bag, and it's both of these have big time aroma for me. So I don't even have to look at the tags. I know I know what they are the second they're opened. And I've been very careful to, to to wrap them up very tightly to preserve that awesomeness for you. <laughs> Your little eyes are quivering. <laughs> Got anything? Are these crunchy, salty, anything? It's a stronger taste. Well, stronger, but then it kind of melds in with the almond. So you get a sharpness when you first put it on your tongue, and then it melds away. Um, this is almost like a salt and pepper one. Um, it's got a little 
Uh, front of my tongue's got a little tingle uh -huh. from it. Um, one more. There's a familiarity from like a potato chip. Try not to shake so much so you know <laughs> which direction I'm shaking and stuff. It goes away very quickly. Huh. Um, it's almost like a vinegar. I would go with a salt and vinegar. Okay. I don't think that's really a flavor they make for almonds, but I'd go with the vinegar. Okay, so which one of these two have you enjoyed more that you think you might like to have again? Can I try the first one? Or do you, if you don't have it out, don't worry about it. I do have one out because I touched one earlier, so I don't want to put it back in the bag. All is fair in marriage. Well, I mean, there's no five second rule in marriage. Mm. I'm going to reverse what I did last time. I'm going to go with the one I'd want more of, and this the first one's the one I want more of. Really? Yeah, you know what? Give me the second one again. No, I haven't had either of these. In all fairness, I haven't had either of these. <coughs> I'm just going by aroma and... No, I'll go with the second one. Again, the kind of the sharpness, the vinegary taste. I like it, and I probably eat less of it. Okay. But I'd get it. I'd get the enjoyment. So I go with the second one. But you'd hear the more. Are you sure? For now, yeah. Yeah. Okay. Give me a minute to wrap it up. Chat away. Have some water. It's really hard discerning the exact taste and coming up with the name of it. So these ones were really close for you. I mean, very different, but close from a, uh, which ones I'd prefer perspective. Second one was much sharper taste when it first goes on. The second one was much smoother and milder. Um, enjoyed them both, but they very, huh. very come from a di very different perspectives. Even though they're part of the same league, they are part of the same league. I know. The second one's more hard hitting. You're saying though. Yeah, shorter lib but harder hitting. So I have the first one back for you because I'm going to tell you what it is since you've eliminated it. Okay. It's out here. If you put your hand in any kind of, there you go. So do you want to make a, a guess as to what that is? Besides, out is out. Single elimination, that bad boy's gone. I'm afraid to put something onto it like a barbecue or anything. It's not, it's just so mild. It's hard to, it's very smooth. Takes takes the saltiness down. They're not they're not strongly salted. There's, it's almost a chocolate. It's almost a chocolatey milk chocolatey flavor to it. How'd you get milk chocolate out of that one? I have no clue. You're very confusing to me, husband. I know. Okay, I don't know. Okay. I'm gonna. Okay, you you can take the blindfold off if you'd like. There's nothing out. That was cinnamon, and, which it must have cinnamon? sugar. It's only labeled in the store it's as got cinnamon. Very, it's very much sugar. Okay. I I could see where it's a very mild cinnamon. Yeah, because you don't you're not really a cinnamon fan. That's why I was like, what is he saying? It's like very you don't hate it, but it it's not. Cinnamon is normally very sharp. This was very smooth, so the sugar had to really be bringing it down. It's like having cinnamon sugar toast versus a strong cinnamon toast. Okay. I mean, I can see maybe some under, yeah, I can see some overton overtones of cinnamon, but it's really mild. It's not, normally there's a sharpness to, to cinnamon and it's not yeah. there. Yeah. Now, in all fairness, I did say that if he got a flavor right, I would let him know. <laughs> and so the winner for that one was in fact sea salt and vinegar. It really was. And that's why you eat those potato chips. And that's why you were like, it kind of reminds me of something. And I was like dying. <laughs> I'm like, it should. It should. You love those the chips. The sharpness of the vinegar definitely leaves a mark in your tongue. It goes, it, 
dissipates very quickly, but but it, when you first put it in, it's it's there. It's a pleasant sharpness, but you just see it, wa it, 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 it wakes you up a little bit. Oh, Makes so like spreads up a little bit. So like if you're working late at night, you're getting kind of drowsy. It's like having it's like si similar to having a spicy something or other where it wakes up your bit. This doesn't bring here, does it? Having yeah. a lazy afternoon, the afternoon lull, it might be a good snack. Grab yeah. a couple of those, wake you up, get back to work. <laughs> get back to work. Anyway, I hope you enjoyed uh, our first round of games in Almond Bowl 1. I survived it so far. Yes, it's also called Almond Bowl 2020. Now, I may go run um, and film the next one just so we get the whole first round done. Okay. There are two teams in League Maccabee that have a bye week. There are two teams that got a bye week. He explained that to me that they couldn't have a playoff because I had an odd number of teams. And whatever. Complicated football, pulley stuff, brackety stuff. So we're going to go um, and grab some more nuts and film the last of round one and get them out to you, the public, so you can start voting because for your favorite league. Because you and I are nutty enough. <laughs> we're not. We'll be right back, folks. Bye.